Hi everybody. Welcome back to Dynamic Alignment Bodywork. Uh, I'm Liam. Happy Friday. And also, um, happy solstice, December 20th, so we're almost there. Uh, Christmas, New Year's, holiday com time coming up. And in today's video, um, I want to talk about hinging from the hips and why I think that's a seasonally appropriate thing to do um, right now. When a lot of us are going home, seeing family, um, we might be getting a lot of time like bending over in the kitchen, kind of like leaning over a counter. If that's a familiar occurrence to you for like if you've been standing up for a long time and you kind of get an achy low back, a lot of times that can really, really help through a little um, different positioning of your body and you'll be using different tissues to stabilize yourself. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. Same thing goes with I don't know if there's little kids running around and you're picking them up, these other kind of like family things that can happen, coupled with um, this is the week, the season for a lot of us to, you know, be less likely to, I don't know, like go to the gym and more likely to drink, I don't know, what I'd rather do instead of go to the gym is like drink, you know, whiskey or eggnog around a fire. Um, so if that sounds like you, uh, it can be really great and of course we can kind of get into more of a like a schlumpy sort of trance. And then if we do things like bend over a lot, they can also lead to some, some kind of back pain. So let's talk about how to move to avoid that, um, that back pain. So it starts off with a little bit of the uh, anatomy and the mechanics. It is the one thing we're talking about today is how to hinge at the hips. So if I'm going over, I'm pointing to my hips. And if I'm bending over, to get something right, this is me hinging at the hips, and this is me moving at the back. I want to take a side note for just a second to be really clear that nothing is wrong with going into flexion in your spine. Um, I think that gets overplayed in a lot of like fitness worlds, so um, you know our spine has a lot of joints because we're meant to be able to move it. The way I see it, at least, is that but what happens to a lot of us is, again, we get in kind of this tissue-type trance of we're always shortening to pick something up. So to wake up out of that trance in our body, we learn to hinge at the hips. And then we have a freedom. We have a the variety of movements available to us. So I'm trying to decide whether I want to be on my face or my hips. We'll do both. Um, so I want to, this is the anatomy, and then we'll go into a quick exercise that can be a kind of like a proprioceptive reminder of how to do that. So if you stand up, feet about shoulder width to shoulder width and a half, and start to lean your weight into your heels and kick your butt back. So it's really, really simple and easy to see, but it's remarkably difficult to do and to do it well. So I'm not bending my knees. I'm starting here and my butt starts to go back and I want to maintain this shape in my low back. What will happen for a lot of us is we tend to start to round, right? And I'm exaggerating here, but even a little bit goes a long ways in the direction that we don't want. So I'm hinging. I can think about bringing my hamstrings and my sits bones back and up. So butt back, hamstrings back and up. My weight's a little bit more in my heels. I'm really exaggerating, and I would encourage you to exaggerate this right now so you have a feel of it. And now I have the feeling of my hamstrings are loaded in a way that I could actually hang like this for a really long time. And I'm kind of hanging on the backside tissue. If I bend my back and go ahead and try it, now I'm hanging on my back. Again, which is okay. Nothing's wrong with this in particular, but most of us default to this a lot and we end up stressing our discs a lot more than we need to in our back tissue. So finding this neutral place, this is exaggerated now, but whether you're picking something up, so that'd be like a deadlift in the gym, or if you're at home, it'd be like picking up a kid or whatever. Playing with hinging at the hips, if you're in the kitchen, bending over a, um, I don't know, chopping veggies or whatever, right? You can still bend your knees. So this is the very formal thing that we just did, right? But just a little bit of that, if I'm bending over instead of here, right? I'm finding length through my torso. 
and using this as the primary motor to kind of load the back of my legs, my hamstrings, my glutes, and it can be pretty comfortable to hang out. I can sure bend one knee, have one foot in front of the other, but it's the same idea. If I'm, you know, this chopping veggies or whatever I'm doing, and I can keep shifting positions. I'm not looking for like the optimal position that I don't move from. To remind your body about that position, here's a quick exercise that we'll do for 30 seconds. And uh, I will say that this is stolen from, um, it's sort of a variation on chair pose, so I'm sure it's you know, been around for thousands of years, but there's a, a program that I'll link to called Foundation Training. Uh, and I'll put the link at the bottom of this video, and I think it's excellent, all um, back strengthening, body weight only uh, type of movement. So this is from them, it's called the Founder. So my weights and my heels, my feet are about shoulder width and a half. No, sorry, about shoulder width, maybe a tiny bit wider. So pretty much straight down from here. I hinge my butt back. I'm going to bring my arms back like a ski jumper. Squeeze my scapula down. Go ahead and do this with me. Draw my shoulder blades down my back. I bring my arms up. I don't want to totally hinge and crunch my low back, but I'm kind of heading that I'm heading that direction much more than this direction, right? I'm pushing my hamstrings back. If you can just hold this for 30 seconds, great. A much more challenging version of this is going to be bring your arms out front and reach. So I'm reaching my coccyx away from my fingertips. The difference between fully extending and not fully extending isn't much in terms of movement, but it's going to be a huge difference. This should be hard. You'll feel it. So really reach, reach, I'm reaching my arms forward and up, reaching my sits bones away, deep breaths here, my lower back starts to burn and shake. We'll go five more seconds, reach, 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 two, one, let that go, and see if, aside from any kind of like workout that you might feel, now try hinging at the hips again, and it might, for me, this helps remind me that it feels a lot more natural now to use my body's primary driving and lifting engine, or bending over engine. Um, anyway, I have a link to not only foundation, but to like a seven minute workout they have that I think is really excellent. Um, and this can be great during the holidays or, you know, anytime, but especially if you don't want to like go to the gym or work out or something. But just a little reminder about how to move. It's not even about breaking a sweat or getting strong, but about reminding yourself of that innate, um, more sort of unlearning the conditioning that we have um, to be any other way. Anyway, um, I sure hope this helps you. Happy holidays. Mwah. Talk to you soon.